As much as The Matrix Trilogy is a sci-fi action thriller that advanced the audience's visual experience, it is also a not-so-subtle allegory that presents two philosophical dilemmas. Happiness versus authenticity, and free will versus determinism. From a writing standpoint, this is where The Matrix stands out. There's nothing exceptional about the plotting, character development, or even the story arc. But few movies have weaved such complex philosophical concepts into the story without making them feel overly preachy or didactic. Cypher is the character that makes the first dilemma clear. As he makes a deal with Agent Smith, Cypher takes a big bite of filet that doesn't really exist, because it's part of the fake surroundings constructed by the Matrix. But after years of struggling in a horrible reality, Cypher concludes that his happiness is more important than having an authentic life. Ignorance is bliss. In the 19th century, English philosopher John Stuart Mill wrote about ethics, concluding that people should act in accordance with that which maximizes the most happiness for the most people. This is the basis for utilitarian ethics. The outcome is what matters. Under utilitarian ethic, a person should celebrate the matrix, as it is a mechanism capable of delivering absolute happiness for every single person. But there is a problem with this, one that the architect pointed out in the second film. As I was saying, she stumbled upon a solution whereby nearly 99% of all test subjects accepted the program as long as they were given a choice, even if they were only aware of the choice at a near unconscious level. Many people crave more from life than happiness alone. 20th century American philosopher Robert Nozick popularized a thought experiment that showed this very principle. He posited an experience machine capable of delivering to any individual exactly what they want, pretty much like 2001's Vanilla Sky. But Nozick's machine won't glitch. It does, however, have a catch. If you enter the experience machine, you can never leave and return to your authentic life. You will live and die a happy life, one identical to what you want, but none of it will be real. Nozick asked, would you enter the machine? Some would, like Cypher. Others would not, like Neo and others from Zion. All three films wrestle with the age-old dilemma of free will versus determinism. Free will is the belief that we as people have an unimpeded ability to choose the course of our lives. Everything begins with choice. Determinism is the belief that all outcomes are essentially fixed, based upon either fate or natural processes that underlie everything, even our supposed choices. Causality. Action. Reaction, cause, and effect. Neo and humans are the personification of free will. Smith and the machines are the personification of determinism. The Matrix itself is a system of control, a deterministic device within which people live out their lives, ignorant that they are ultimately slaves to a computer program. The plot leads to an unavoidable conflict between free will and determinism, between choice and inevitability. In the first film, if looked at from a choice-centered perspective, Neo chooses to fight instead of run. In the second, Neo chooses Trinity over Zion. And in the third, Neo chooses to both fight and to let Smith win, albeit temporarily. Or did Neo ever really make a choice? From a deterministic perspective, one could easily argue that Neo never made a choice throughout the entire trilogy. Did Neo choose to stay and fight Smith, or did his belief that he might be the one determine his action to stay and fight? Did Neo choose to save Trinity, or did his emotional attachment to her determine his refusal of the architect's proposition? Did Neo choose to let Smith win, or were his actions determined by faith in the Oracle's cryptic words? Everything that has a beginning has an end. For me, this is the beauty of The Matrix. The movies never answered the philosophical dilemmas. Every possible answer lies on a double-edged sword. If one argues that choice won out because Smith lost, a counter could be that no scenario existed for Smith to win. If Neo was able to fight forever, he would prove to Smith that a human's will could be as strong as a computer program. If Neo chose to give up like he did, Smith does his thing and is destroyed. A predetermined no-win situation for Smith. If one argues that determinism won out because Neo was forced to give up, a counter could be that Neo's sacrifice proves the reality of choice, as no rational, self-aware being could ever willingly end their own life without free will. Whether one walked away from the Matrix movies happy or disappointed, I would bet that an overwhelming majority at least walked away with a greater understanding of two popular philosophical problems that, 
to this day are still debated. This is the brilliance of the matrix, the framing of the dilemma, not the resolution.